and not Pakistan will be the focus of the Defence Ministry's latest plan. The military is preparing a 15-year plan for all the three services and this is currently in the final stage of preparation. NDTV's Defence Editor Nitin Gokhale has the details. China and not Pakistan will be the focus of the Defence Ministry's 15-year long-term integrated perspective plan for all the three services currently in the final stages of preparation. The plan, which will be enforced from 2012 to 2027, is aimed at equipping the Indian Armed Forces to move from the current stage of dissuasion to deterrence against China. Here are some of the key points in the plan. By 2020, India wants to have a dedicated mountain strike corps of over 90,000 men, specifically meant for Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh, and equipped for offensive operations. To begin with, the Ministry wants all the planned roads in these high-altitude areas to be completed in time and on priority. India is also activating, revamping and upgrading its air bases along the China border, both in Ladakh and Arunachal Pradesh. This includes at least eight advanced landing grounds and Nyoma Air Base, barely 25 kilometers from the line of actual control, will eventually have Sukhoi 30s stationed there. The army is all set to improve the living conditions in the high altitude areas by placing over 5,000 specially designed self-contained thermally insulated shelters for troops so that they can withstand temperatures going down to minus 40 degrees. In the long run, India plans to acquire and deploy ultralight howitzers and light tanks in Ladakh to bolster security there. This is where they will deploy them. And even the Indian Navy is planning for future contingencies by planning to operate two carrier battle groups, several stealth battleships, submarines and long-range reconnaissance planes. Another important component in, the, in this long-term plan is to beef up the fledgling Andaman and Nicobar Command to keep a close vigil on the strategically crucial Southeast Asian region as well as the Malacca Straits. This is of course over and above the ongoing plans to develop 8,000 km range intercontinental ballistic missiles in the coming decade. Now, Rajasthan